Hey, this is Andrew Lim inviting you to go out on a limb. So uh, I had a lovely, lovely week here in uh, Uruguay. I'm heading back home. I'm super excited because I'm taking a Latam airline going via Santiago. So I'm at Montevideo airport right now, heading to Santiago, uh, long layover, uh, but that's great because I get to actually visit the newest Latam lounge that supposedly is the biggest in South America, some 40,000, some 42,000 square feet or 4,000 square meters. So I'm gonna go actually uh, check out the lounge, uh, of course, cover that for you. So come go out on the limb with me and be on this Latam journey with me. Folks, before we start, kindly hit the subscribe button and the notify button for new content that I upload weekly. Muchas gracias. Well guys, that was a good flight. Uh, I'm now in Santiago and uh, heading to the lounge. Hey guys, since I have some time to kill, we're gonna check out the Sky Team Lounge as well here at Santiago Chile Airport. The Sky Team Lounge at uh, Santiago Chile Airport are reserved for flyers uh, that fly for Sky Team members like Delta Aero Mexico. And also you can actually access in here if you have a priority pass. So that's an amazing perk, uh, having a priority pass card as well when you're flying through Santiago Chile Airport. Uh, the layout of the, the uh, lounge itself is pretty st straightforward. In fact, I think it's a bit like the uh, I don't know the uh, the design itself is very moth-ish, I feel like, and um, it's actually very close to the tarmac. So because this is in the uh, I would call the uh, ground level, the tarmac level of Santiago Chile Airport. Uh, it's walking pretty airy, pretty bright. Uh, you know the um, it's long. I think it's it's long. That's really how I would describe the design of the lounge, the layout of the lounge. Uh, there's actually obviously bathroom here as well shower although I think uh, it wasn't really available uh, with the shower when I actually was here I have to say the food selection here at Sky Team Lounge is actually not great I mean everything is uh, comes pre-packaged in super small quantity um, and the um, food itself, the selections are great. The, the best part is for beverages, it's actually in a roped off section and you actually have to ask staff for it, even for bottled water. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm at Santiago Chile Airport. I'm in front of the new lounge, supposedly opened earlier this year. It's the biggest lounge, Latam Lounge in South America. Some 42,000 square feet, 4,000 square meter. So come check it out with me. Open in April of 2022, uh, this Latam Lounge uh, basically had sustainability at the forefront of its design. Uh, the design of the lounge was actually uh, made by Enrique Cocha and a Grupo Arquitectos, uh, a Chilean architect and a firm uh, with plenty of experience in the airport business. So the lobby of the lounge provides three entrances into three separate lounges. Uh, the first one is called the World Member Lounge. It's the lowest tiered lounge for, uh, you know, gold member as well as member of certain credit card holders. Uh, they have access to this lounge uh, that is uh, in a rectangular shape. Uh, you know, it's pretty long uh, with the uh, internet section or computers on one end. Um, and it's a beautiful, beautifully designed uh, area of space uh, with a lot of sitting uh, 
uh, places or capacity. I don't think, you know, you see this lounge really full. Uh, and there's actually plenty of refreshments, uh, salads, soup, uh, as well as pre-packaged snacks, uh, fruits, and a coffee machine because that's very important. Also a fridge filled with beverages that's not roped off like the Sky Team Lounge. Uh, you can actually take whatever you want and more uh, pre-packaged snacks uh, for customers to enjoy. And also a fridge with uh, uh, sandwiches and desserts. Uh, there's also a couple of entertainment room, uh, AKA TV room, uh, that you can actually go in and enjoy uh, different shows on a big screen TV. So the Latam Lounge uh, uses about 80% of renewable energy. That's certainly very impressive. In fact, I think uh, you know the the goal here is to build a sustainable uh, lounge, which is why uh, everything you know has sustainability uh, kept in mind. Uh, the second lounge uh, it's called the Premium Lounge. Uh, this is for uh, you know frequent flyers of Latam with a higher tier or higher level. Uh, this lounge is what I call the mid-range lounge of the three. Uh, the, the space itself is bigger uh, than the uh, world member lounge. Uh, and every uh, design is actually pretty unique as well. And there are different areas like the bar, dining area, TV, even the kids room and sleeping area. Uh, and the kids room is, is pretty standard, you know, different colors. Uh, next to a TV room, uh, this is a uh, uh, well enclosed TV room that you can actually watch uh, TV shows on a big screen TV. Uh, you also have the main area. So the main area itself, I think the design is there are subsections, uh, kind of like a little, uh, I always call it cabana, but like the, 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 the dividers itself. Uh, it's kind of like see-through, but it makes you feel like you're in the resort. Is what I think. Uh, that you know, and once you pass that section, you have the main area, and this is where uh, you have the food, uh, and it's pretty spacious. Uh, the I would say this uh, lounge is definitely darker uh, than the uh, World Member Lounge. Uh, there's really no lights, natural lightings. Uh, but in terms of food, you have better selection of foods. Uh, you have your cold dishes and you have some hot dishes as well. Uh, you know, two or three hot dishes here uh, for, uh, you know, club members or members to actually enjoy. In addition to hot foods, they have your pre-packaged uh, items as well, snacks, fruits, uh, wine, as well as Be Still My Heart, this uh, orange juice machine that actually squeezes fresh oranges into juice, which I love. You know, when I see this machine, I'll definitely have to have a glass or two of orange juice. Uh, they also have the uh, fridge uh, holding two uh, different sandwiches and some dessert items as well. So pretty much, you know, uh, same food items as the world member lounge, but more. I uh, guess there's actually hot items as well. So it's definitely an upgrade when it comes to the catering department. I uh, also have a standard uh, coffee uh, section as well. There is a sleeping area as well in this lounge, which the wall member lounge uh, doesn't have. Uh, in, it, in it, it's actually very private. It's pretty dark, I have to say. And, and you have different sections uh, uh, with different rooms with beds, uh, a, a single bed, uh, you know, with uh, comfortable bedding stuff. Uh, the only thing is there's actually no door. Um, so yeah, so it's actually uh, really impressive, I have to say. Initially, I thought I was just going to do a lounge report together with my flight report, but uh, this lounge is so impressive. This new Latam lounge uh, that is in Santiago, Chile airport has three separate areas. It's too much to cover, so I'm just going to do a separate episode on this amazing lounge. So come go on and live with me and we will check out the largest lounge here in Latin America by Latam Airlines.
Now we're approaching the best lounge of all signature lounge for the highest tier LATAM passengers and business class paying passengers. Uh, and uh, there is a uh, luggage storage room on the right hand side. Uh, you know, plenty of spaces to store your luggage if you don't feel like wheeling them around in the lounge uh, because there's, you know, they'll just get in your way because there's so much to do here. Um, it's very spacious. If you do want to wheel around your carry-ons, no problem because it's just so spacious here. Uh, there's a lot of uh, different kind of setups uh, uh, depending on how you want to relax here in the lounge. You can actually work, you can sit back, uh, you know, and have a drink. Uh, and there's beverage station, uh, you know, in different section of the room. Uh, so they don't have to walk too far to grab your cup of coffee or your bottle of wine. Um, yeah, it's just impressive. And of course, there is a, a main bar in the middle of the room under this, you know, beautiful structure. And in fact, speaking of structure, there's actually a lot of uh, uh, sculptures, you know, done by South American artists placed throughout the lounge. Uh, because this is, you know, you know, to keep along the South American theme. Uh, this is what they decided to do, that, which is ingenious. In terms of food, you have all the standard items that we have seen in the previous two lounges. The amazing orange juice machine, my favorite. Uh, cheese plate uh, uh, with different meats uh, as well. Uh, and the beverage fridge here, obviously, is double the size of what we saw before. Uh, in terms of food, there's actually uh, much more food here with, you know, cold plates as well as hot plates as well um, with different kinds of item. And I think, you know, honestly, the food, I think, uh, skews healthier. I don't see anything fried being served uh, at the lounge, uh, which is really great. The oval-shaped bar in the center of the room uh, is really inviting. Uh, you can actually sit many people. Uh, you never run out of a chair here. And that's, I think, you know, that's the unique uh, uh, feature of this uh, lounge is, especially this this particular signature lounge, is that uh, there's so many chairs that you know, and sitting areas that I don't think uh, you know people will ever uh, not be able to find a seat here in the lounge, which is. I think impressive and of course there's a sleeping room as well uh, and the rest area so unlike the other two lounges there's also a rest area if you don't if you decide not to lie flat all the way uh, this is where you can actually put your feet up and relax uh, but if you want to take a nap uh, there's a another section uh, with different uh, sleeping uh, areas as well or room as well uh, all uh, single bed uh, with comfortable bedding um, like I said, you know, there's plenty of privacy. The only thing is it doesn't have a, a door uh, actually to close the, the room. It's not really a room room. It's a room without a door, but the, the bed itself is comfortable. Um, and in fact, you know, I actually uh, took a nap here. So guys, I'm taking a nap here in the nappy room. I can talk because no one else is here. It's pretty nice. And after taking a nap, it's time for a shower to freshen up. And the Signature Lounge has, you know, a few good showers as well. It's beautifully decorated uh, with a uh, rainforest uh, shower feature uh, and also a pretty spacious bathroom uh, for you to freshen up. It comes with great amenities as well and also comfortable towels. So is the LATAM lounge worth it? Definitely yes. Uh, much more so than the Sky Team lounge if you can actually access the LATAM lounge. In fact, it provides, you know, it's frequent flyers of different 
uh, statuses and you know different spending level and opportunity to relax and unwind uh, you know during their flight or before their flight uh, such as my case you know I had a rather lengthy rather lengthy layover here in Santiago Chile but it was actually made short by the amazing signature lounge. Mm -hmm.